It is the last night for the Winter Haven Festival of Lights. News 4 Tucson Sam Salzuedo was there as the Tucson tradition wraps up. Christmas may be over, but thousands of people still got a chance to get in the holiday spirit one last time. Merry Christmas. This is a drive through night, the only night when people are allowed to enjoy the Winter Haven Festival of Lights from their cars. We're pretty good. It's a big car. It's eight passenger and we got seven. <laughs> So, so we're okay. We do it every year, so this is the Winter Haven. So we got the, the bus loaded up, we got the kids, the grandparents, and just the whole crew going for a little uh, Winter Haven fun. And the two-week tradition is also one of the biggest fundraisers and food drives for the Community Food Bank of Southern Arizona. Kimberly Winker says her nonprofit's need is especially high during this expensive time of year. Food may go by the wayside or other expenses, so it's very important for us to be able to help our community and get them the food they need. Um, the lines at the food bank are longer during this time of year, and so it helps us serve them. This year they've raised about $20,000 along with all these food donations. I grew up as an unfortunate child and I got help when I was young, so I figured we'd give back to the community. My kids do Cub Scouts, so every year the kids get dressed up in their outfits and collect for the food bank. That's something the Cub Scouts do, and so it's just an important part of the community, and so we, we like to give whenever we can. At the beginning of the night, the food bank had collected 39,000 pounds of food so far throughout the festival. They're hoping to get up to 46,000, and they said it was probably going to be close. From Winter Haven, Sam Salzwedel, News 4 Tucson.